So this is our, uh, for our Zoomers and our YouTubers, this is our Tuesday workout, because it's our strength workout, so it's always nice and fun to try to figure out that little mental puzzle. Um, but uh, so um, just general housekeeping, I think everybody now has been here at least once or twice. So if you go to the bathroom, wipe down any surfaces that you touch. If you go to use the water fountain, just uh, use the hand sanitizer before you use the water fountain. Blah. Cool. Um, and then at the end of class, I'll make sure I dismiss you in column form so that we can just put our weights in front so that we can disinfect all the stuff, leave your mats in place, and we're all good. Story of the day. Story of the day. It's like we got two days left of, is this, no, tomorrow is the first? No, today is, tomorrow is the 31st. No, 30th. Thank you. So two more days of Aesop's fables, basically, is what this is coming down to. And uh, today it's about the lion and the donkey. So the lion was walking and all of the animals decided to create a formation for him, a little aisle, because out of respect for the, the mighty lion that was walking. I don't know what situations these lions get into where this would happen, but anyway, um, as he's walking, the donkey brays at him in total disrespect. And then the, um, the lion's reaction is one of anger and he just wants to take his claws and just get that whatever that was that just made that noise. But when he looked and he saw that it was the donkey, he was like, ah, oh, well, that's just a fool. And I'm not going to waste my time on him. And um, so the, the moral of the story is, is don't waste your time recognizing fools. Just carry on your way and walk on, which I think is such a good, like, like Aesop's fables. This came up like 2000 years ago, like way before Facebook and way before Twitter. And that is so pertinent right now. It's just like, yeah, if somebody says some shit to piss you off, just fucking like, what, you know, wasting your time on the trolls. You're just going to keep that anger, you know, like walk away, walk away if you can, if you can, if you can't, you need to just block. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a moral. <laughs> from 2,000 years ago. <laughs> totally. All right. Was that? <laughs> There's that one going. Anyway, guys. OK, so we are uh, reinstituting jumping jacks. If you are not doing jumping jacks, then you can either just follow along with whatever arm movement we're doing, and you can go at pace with some squats. Otherwise, we're doing the 90, because that's what we used to do. All right? I'm going to count the first five. You're going to count the second five. And go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set, here we go. One, two, three, four. guys but coach Josh would you put on some music okay all right here we go last set, last set. three four five six seven eight nine ten and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and go one two three four Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You guys, this is such a good looking group of warriors. Oh my God. What a great advantage point I have up here. Great vantage point. We're going to grab our bands. Grabbing our bands. Woo. Let's start with some over and over and over and overs. To the front, to the back. So trying to get that really spaced out with those hands keeping those arms straight the entire time, almost just combing your hair with that band. How was bend, Cassandra? It was good, the weather was nice. Was it? Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, and people are or aren't wearing masks. 
Oh, really? Wow. Yikes. Scary. Uh, all right, guys. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to, sorry, big hair. We're going to line up our wrists with our shoulders. We're going to grab the bands here, and then we're going to do a pull apart. There we go. So more in front of you, Chris. So not up high. Yeah, right in front. Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, these red, I mean, these black and red bands are not forgiving at all. All right, now we're going to take it up underneath our armpits. And then we're going to do a chest press. I want you to really reach out of those shoulders with this. I want you to squeeze them glutes, please. Please. Nine and ten. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and step on our bands. We're going to go into our RDL position. So we're going to reach down low. I'm going to squeeze my glutes. As I come up, bringing my hips forward, bending over, I want you to feel that in those hamstrings. And I want you to keep those lats really engaged. We're not curving our back. We're keeping our back flat. Coming up and down, 10 times. Make sure you exhale at the top. Nice, guys. Let's widen out those feet. Let's go ahead and put our bands around our palms. We're gonna go into our squat and up. Trying really hard to get that depth. Push out on those knees. There you go, Don. <laughs> Feeling tight? Yeah. Yeah. Like a rubber band. Yeah, <laughs> like a rubber band. <laughs> Right? Nice. Ten of those. Then we're going to stay in our bands. We're going to narrow up our feet again. Reach down low, and then we're going to go into our bent rows. So squeezing those shoulder blades at the back. Nice. Great, now we're gonna put it across our wrists, I mean our, our palms. Yep, keeping that narrower stance. And then overhead and back down. Elbows out, elbows in. There we go, yeah. Is that a new Ben t-shirt? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, squeeze those glutes, guys. Yeah, all right. Now, we're gonna do some front raises. So keeping those arms straight, I want you to try to pause at the top as you come to shoulder height, all right? Fun things you can do with bands. All right. And then, yep, upright row. Lean with those elbows. Nice. All right, let's do a few more of these over and overs now that we're warmed up. Nice job, everybody. All right, I wanna go back into my, my squat, my squat position.
So we're gonna be doing a lot of these today. Andrew, your faces are amazing. <laughs> This is the time where I wish I could swing around my camera. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go underneath the armpits one more time. Do that press. Feeling warmed up? Yee! Yeehaw! Is that another obscure band, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Nice. Great job, guys. All right. Let us grab some water. Let's stay hydrated because it's still a little warm in here. I don't know if you noticed. All right. Let's actually go to the floor. I'm gonna do a nice little lat stretch. So I'm gonna push my butt back onto my heels. I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna reach it under. I'm gonna try to get that shoulder to the ground. And then I wanna open it up by bringing my elbow up, following it with my eyes, coming back down. Let's go five times on the right. And then we'll go five times on the left. Trying hard to get that shoulder to meet the ground if possible, while still using that other hand to push you back. Lost the music. Josh's on the phone. That's okay. I can always sing. Um, whenever karaoke opens back up, I have my karaoke song ready to go. It's gonna be something, something Smashing Pumpkins. I've realized that that's an easy, easy, easy thing to do. <laughs> Guys, let's go ahead and do that Cossack stretch. So come and pushing back onto our butts, rocking forward. Pushing back onto our butts, rocking forward. Nice. We're gonna do that five times, and then we're gonna do five legs li leg lifts, and then we're gonna switch it out to the other side. <laughs> this is my second workout today, so. Ugh. No excuses, no excuses. What, there, in the past, when we were doing seven classes a day, there were days that I did like five classes. Worked out five times, that was crazy. I was feeling it. Uh, now I find it hard to uh, teach a class and then do it at the same time and not get completely winded. <laughs> All right, guys, you can go ahead and stand up. I'm gonna see if I can get some music on. Alexa, play Monday to Monday playlist. All right. Is anybody familiar with the Monday to Monday playlist? Does anybody know Gary Vandercheck? Gary, you know Gary Vandercheck? No? Uh, anyway, he's like a business con life consultant guy and he that does a new playlist every Monday and it's always he's like, he's, he's, he's a what? He's a marketer and he also like sells wine and stuff too, right? Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's like all the things. Anyway, Gary V, follow him on Instagram. He's like, real, he's really interesting dude, like really interesting. Um, anyway guys. I will not go into a Gary V story. I've already done the lion and the donkey story. So guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice our first circuit. Um, it's gonna be a, a high, high volume stuff that we're working on today. So what we're gonna do is a single arm thruster. So of the two weights that you grabbed, grab the lighter of the two weights. Yeah. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lock my other arm out as I go into my squat position, all right? So I wanna keep this arm tense as I still do this thruster. I'm gonna come down into my squat and then I'm gonna power up into this overhead press, but it's gonna be a single arm overhead press. Yeah, so go ahead and give me six 
on the right side and then switch it out to six on the left side. Really making sure you get that depth at the bottom and then boom, depth at the bottom using those hips, using those glutes, then switching it to the other side, keeping that tension going in that other, in that other uh, fist. Yep, down at the bottom, up at the top. Nice, awesome. So then we're gonna have our front rack lunges. So you can either grab your heavier weight or your lighter weight for this, it's totally up to you. You can do a reverse lunge, you can do a, a forward lunge, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Get my mat out of the way. So I'm gonna do a reverse lunge. I'm gonna hold my elbows up the entire time that I'm doing this. And then I'm gonna take my step back, come back up. Now I wanna do all 12 on the one side, but for right now, let's just do five as far as the warm up is concerned. All right, and then switching it out to the other leg. Getting that back knee about an inch off the ground. I'm not making a long lunge with this. It's gonna be a shorter lunge because I want this to be a strength lunge as opposed to a mobility lunge. All right, then you're gonna put that weight down and you are going to do a single leg around the world. This is going to be a burner. So what it's gonna be is you're gonna be in this quarter squat you're gonna take your, let your toe forward. You're gonna to touch forward, you're gonna to touch this side. You're gonna to touch back. That's one. That's two. All right, 24 of those on the one side, 24 on the other when we're in the circuit. Uh -huh. Yeah, so for right now, just give me five because I want you to see what that feels like. And stay in that quarter squat. The, the instinct on this is to cheat it. And I want you to keep that butt down as you're coming out. Oh, right? Yeah, so give me five on each side. Touching out, forward, out, back. So Chris, I want you to extend that leg fully, that, that toe fully forward, fully out, fully back. Yeah. Yeah. You can always bend it back in. I just don't want a bent knee in the front and a bent knee out. I want a straight leg out, all right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that three times through and we got that clock over there. We got a clock over here, beep, on the floor because, because COVID. <laughs> and so what we're gonna, gonna do guys is you're gonna go at your pace. We're gonna do three sets of these. So you're gonna do six single arm thrusters on one side, six on the other. And then you're gonna go into your 12 front rack reverse lunges on the one side, 12 on the other. And then you're gonna do your 24 of your single leg round the world and then on the other. And then you're gonna rest for 60 seconds before you start in again, three sets. Yeah, yeah, hit it. So Don, widen out those feet so that those Heels don't come up. Yeah. There we go. Yep, maintain that constant tension on that other arm. Josh, put music on. It, it keeps turning off. I know. I know. So try to keep those elbows up, guys, when you're doing this front rack position. Also try to maintain that torso up as upright as possible. So we don't want to lean forward with this. We want to try to stay as upright as possible. The great thing about coaching the class is sometimes you just can't count how many you're doing because you're talking. So I don't know if I just did 12 or not. <laughs> Who needs barbells? Come on, this is hard, huh? All right, then you put it down 
And then you do your single legs around the world. Boom. Really extend it forward, out. You should really feel this in that quad. And try to not have your ankle roll in. Try to push on the outside of that foot for stability. Yep. Good, good job, Don. Take a break if you need to. Can you get a little bit deeper in that bend, Jessica? Is that okay on your knee? Okay. So guys, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that knee forward over that ankle as we do this. Hello, quads. Yeah, it's short season. We gotta get those quads going. <laughs> oh. 24 on each side. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Aaron, try, tr try not to lean over so much. <laughs> yeah, try to stay upright when you're doing it. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, guys, we're going slow and controlled with this. This is strength day. We're always going slow and controlled on a strength day, right? There's only three sets, which is awesome. <laughs> 24 on each side, YouTubers. I'm just waiting for somebody to be done thinking that that's 24. <laughs> All right, then watch the clock. Give me 60 seconds of rest. Grab water. Nice job, guys. Slower, Jerry. All right. High volume training. If you want a little extra stretchy poo, get in that quad to stretch out because you just did some business to it. While you're doing your 60 seconds of rest, you can do your active recovery. <laughs> Jessica, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you counting like 240 on one side? Yeah. Oh my God. That's so long. Oh my God. All right, for those who are on their one minute of rest, make sure you get that depth. Really squeeze those glutes. Let those legs help power you up as you're doing this. 6 of these on each side. Yeah. I guess I should be counting. <laughs> the purgatory of Jessica's around the world. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> six on each side then 12 on each side of our front rack position either reverse lunge or forward lunge whichever feels better on your knees i'm sorry all on one side first How you doing, Joji? Nice. Whew. Yeah, that's a burner. Eight, 
12. Nice. 24. Yeah, there you go. Game face, Don. You got this. Watch my speed, guys. Actually, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then 14. Yeah. Because I just don't want my form to suffer with this. I don't want to have, you know, my form disintegrate as I'm trying to keep control. Or 12 on one side, 12 on the other. Yeah, I was like, my maths, my maths are abstract. Three. Woo! Hot yoga. is so mean to us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> While balancing a dog on one arm, brushing the teeth in the other. <laughs> yes, playing fetch, that is right. Jerry's doing a little funkiness <laughs> from his football days. <laughs> yeah, I think the key, guys, is 12 on one side, 12 on the other, 12 on one side, 12 on the other, just to give a little, little breaky poo. Oh my goodness. All right, making sure we get rest, making sure we get hydrated. Nice. Woo. All right, guys. We're going into our last set. Last set. Yeah. It's a thing. Get up, get, get, get it a little bit wider there, Don. I don't want you coming up on those heels. Step out that foot more. Widen out your feet. There you go. Yeah, because you're coming up like that. I want you to keep your heels flat. Yeah. Six. Nice. How are you feeling about that weight, Chris? Good. It's a big one. <laughs> Nice. I got my front rack. All 12 on one side, staying as upright in our torso as we can, getting that back knee about an inch off the ground. And when we're doing this, we're keeping that front knee about eight to 10 inches away from that front heel. So we're narrowing up this lunge. I think they also call this like a 90-90. It's always a thousand names for any given exercise that we're doing. I'm going until Dawn stops because I lost count. 
<laughs> Woo! Ha ha! All right. This is all the front lunges, all the reverse lunges you have left, guys. This is it. Then we move on to other wonderful things. Makes sense right now that Eminem comes on while we're trying to finish these torturous, torturous exercises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Chris, I want you to keep a little bit more upper body stability with this. All the movement is coming from your lower part of your body. So I don't want you reaching back. I don't want you reaching forward. I want you to keep your pelvis in place as you're just tapping out that foot. So it's gonna be really anchoring in this quad of that standing leg. Yeah. Woo! don't sweat I usually just exude oil but I'm sweating right now it's happening <laughs> nice game face Joe G good job Remember the first time that Josh had us do this in a power hour on a Saturday? I was like, all right. Torturing the power lifters, I understand that. Oh, but now he's brought the love to all of you too. Oh, oh. Yeah, the Charleston, yes, definitely does count, Don. Any, any sort of old timey, yes. All right, great job, guys. Huh. All right. Jerry's still killing it. Woo! Great job. Get a little bit of rest. I'm gonna go ahead and demo the next part of our circuit. Again, this is gonna be three sets of the following six, 12, 24 exercises, all right? So what we're gonna have is our favorite squat hold to overhead press. So I'm gonna go into my squat hold. So it's, it's still an active squat. I don't want you to go like sit and like weigh into it. I want you to stay active with it, but I want you to get that depth and then overhead, all right? So not a front press an overhead press. 
for six of those. You can either use your lighter weight or your heavy weight, whatever you're feeling like, all right? And then we have our barbell deadlifts. I'm sorry, our dumbbell deadlifts. So I'm gonna take my little bit of a heavier dumbbell, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up with my shoelaces, squeeze those glutes, narrow up those feet. Make sure you stay in your lats, just like you're lifting a, bar a, a barbell, all right? Coming down, bringing those hips forward at the top, reach those hips back as you place it all the way down. I want a, a total touchdown with this, okay? Coming back up, squeezing those glutes at the top, all right? So we got 12 of those. Then we're gonna go into 24 swimmers. So if you need your mat, you can grab your mat. Gonna come to the floor. I'm reaching forward, really playing out those fingertips. My eyes are about a 45 degree angle in front of me. I'm pushing my feet into the ground. I'm bringing those elbows back as I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, reaching forward, coming up into this cobra. Now guys, when you're doing these swimmers, I want you to think about your butt. I don't want you to think about your lower back. I want you to think about your butt engaged, your legs super strong, and that's gonna help you lift up into that back extension, as opposed to just hitting it from your lower back, you know? If you keep those legs on, you're gonna feel it in your glutes, okay? So, six, 12, 24, three rounds of those. With a minute of rest, after you finish that set, Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, thank goodness it's only six. Woo! All right. I want to really pull that butt back, get those lats on, squeeze those hips forward. Try to get that butt a little bit further back to that back wall. So I don't want it to come down, I want it to come back. So if that means not bending your knees as much, Don, maybe try that. There it is, there it is. Yeah, 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 nice. You guys should feel this in your hamstrings. Yeah? You feeling it, Jessica? <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Cassandra can hear Jessica's hamstrings go, yes, yes they can. <laughs> nice. Look at this ocean of swimmers. Yeah. So keep those legs tight. To feel that in your glutes, squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. 24. Watch the clock. Now, if a minute is not enough time for you to rest, rest for longer than a minute, that's fine. Just minimally, I want you to get a minute's worth of rest. But stand up, don't sit on the floor, don't lay on the floor. If you're resting, unless you're still doing your swimmers, then that's okay. <laughs> you can take a break with your swimmers. Woo! Does everybody feel okay in their lower back with those? I want you to really think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Whew. Feel all right? All right, guys. Minute of rest. Hydrate, hydrate. Woo! All right. Just two more sets of that. Two more sets. Think that's harder? You think this set's harder than the, this circuit's harder than the last one? The last one was, yeah, yeah. It was a thing. It was a total thing. All right, here we go. Widen out those feet. Make sure you stay in that active squat. Six, yeah. All right. Getting in, like pretending I'm going down. 
into my barbell position, just grabbing a dumbbell instead. Bringing that butt back, coming up. Twelve of these. Now the other thing is, guys, we don't want to reach out of our arms with this. I want you to stay in those lats. Then you're coming further over in that 90 degree hinge in order to get it to touch the ground. Woo! So Andrew, try to come up in a little bit of a cobra. Try to lift up. I'm sorry, A.A. Ron. There you go, Don. Nice. Yeah, really reach out towards me, Don. Boom, yeah, splay those fingers. Awesome. Guys, guess what it is? It's our last set. It's our best set. Woo! All right, we got that 60 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna be trying something new with the banded squat. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be crazy. All right. I'm going. Oh, no, I'm not. Here we go. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing? <sighs> so yeah, at home people, I want you to get those dumbbells lined up with those shoelaces. Bring that butt back. Don't reach out of those arms. Keep those lats engaged, coming down, squeezing those glutes at the top, exhale at the top. So butt further back, Chris. So what you're doing right now, Chris, is you're squatting, and I want you to I want you to hinge. So I want you to come over. There we go. But all the way down to the ground, all the way down. Nice. All right. What is even happening right now? What? <laughs> and now you have to come in and have somebody yeah, make you. Somebody to do make you. <laughs> it's okay to take a break, guys, while you're doing this. Because I want that perfect form. I want those arms long. I want those fingers splayed. I want those legs on. <laughs> you got this, Jerry. 
Nice. Extension. Good job, Don. Yeah. Woo. It's a thing. All right. So we're going to take a little bit of rest. Then we're going to go into our last circuit, which is going to be interesting because we might need to do a couple different variations on this. I think we've only ever done this once in here. I think when it was Marie's birthday, because she's like 67, so we've done 60 squats before. But now we're going to do 60 banded squats. So I'm going to give you an option. You can either do three sets of 20, see how you feel, see if you can do another three sets of 20, or you can do one set of 60, see how you feel, do another set of 60, see how you feel, and if you think you can do one more set of 60, fantastic, all right? Now, if you're doing the sets of 20, I want you to get a full one minute of rest after you've done each of the 20 and see if you can keep going, all right? So we're just splitting up the same number of squats in a different way. But again, it's like if you can only get through one set of 60 and you're, and you're out, you think you're out. That's it. You're fine, you know? We're going to see how this goes. So, all right. A little bit more rest. This is some uh, tendon work that we're going to be doing this month, mixing in different high rep things to really work on our tendons, getting those nice and healthy. Believe it or not. Yeah, all right. I'm going to try a set of 60, see what happens with that. Got my band up here. Yeah, yeah. all right. And I'm going. Hey, Josh, can you get me some water? Yeah. It's right there. It's, yeah. <laughs> can you pour it into my mouth like a, a mama bird? Josh, talk us through this training. <laughs> In front of the camera. There we go. What we're doing now is we're doing a lot of volume in one movement pattern. The muscles are exposed to that much tension, that much time under tension, over and over again. It increases the capillarization, not just the muscles, but the tendons themselves. That increased stress increases the thickness of the tendon. Thicker tendons with more capillaries heal faster and are harder to damage. What does that mean, Cassandra? Strong. They're strong. <laughs> strong. Strong Cassandra, stronger Cassandra means fewer injuries. So, less patellar tendon pain. Less uh, achy ankles, knees, hips. So, it's not physically difficult, it's mentally difficult. I don't know if you feel that. <laughs> mm. It might be a little physical. Jerry was just telling me the other day how much he loves to do lots and lots of reps. He just is like his favorite thing. He preferred to have a workout at a yoga studio with no weights. So he can do hundreds of thousands of push ups. That's what he wants to do. He wants to get so easy. <laughs> All right, I think I know what my body's telling me. I think 60 is gonna be my it. Thanks, if you wanna just stick it there, that's fine. Thank you, just on the bench, yeah. <laughs> Although I completely lost count. Jerry, are you, where are you at? Oh, really? Nuts! <laughs> Whew, was that? Right, right? All right, I'll do 10 more. <laughs> 
and none of us can get out of bed tomorrow morning because <laughs> we are sore. <laughs> Woo! All right. What do you want, Joe? You're just doing it until you fail? Just am wrapping it. Just am wrapping. Whew. You think so? Yeah. I think I'm just going to do one set of 60. Jerry, how are you feeling? You're going you're gonna to hold? You're going to fold them? <laughs> yeah. Where are you at, Jessica? This is Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Guys, depth before dishonor. Get that depth. Chris, widen out those feet just a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Nice. Joe Brookins, how you doing? I did a 60. Oh, a 16 and a 20. Nice. Yeah. That, that's legit. That is totally legit. Don, what'd you do? Two twenties, nice, good job. Hey, hey, Ron. Two twenties, nice, good job. Cassandra, Juliana. Three sets of twenty, cool. Andrew, same. What did you do? Two sets of twenty. Three sets of twenty. Joe G has no idea. Joe G has no idea. He did like a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty. That's fine. Where are you at, Chris? Okay. Second set? Nice. Look at you go. That's awesome. Let's, let's definitely cheer. All right. I'm going to do one more set of 20. That's it. And then we're going to do a little bit of stretching, and then we're going to get into our homework. Ugh. Push out on those knees, Jessica. Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was enough of that silliness. <laughs> All right. Guys, I'm going to grab my mat. What I want to do is some hamstring mobility. Just because, let's be nice. Let's be nice to our bodies for a second. We're going to lay on the ground. You're going to push your lower back into the ground. You're going to grab your one leg and you're going to really flex this quad as you feel this stretch in that hamstring. That other leg comes down. Let's dorsal flex both feet so that you're keeping tension in both legs. Now you're not lifting up your head. Your lower back and your shoulders are on the ground as you're switching out. Let's do 10 on each side. each side with those. There you go, trying to keep that leg as straight as possible. Feel that quad activate, feel that stretch in that hamstring. When you're done, we're gonna go into some shin boxes. So for my shin box, what I wanna do is I wanna line up the front of my leg and have my knee touch that bottom of that foot. And I wanna line up that belly button with my knee. And then I'm just gonna bend over. So. I'm just leaning. I don't want to roll. I don't want to curve it over. All right. I'm just leaning into it. And then I'm going to transition to the other side, rotating that belly button over that leg, coming back in. Now, if it's hard for you to maintain posture with this, you don't have to put your arms up. You can put your arms behind you to keep that back flat. But look how, look how happy our, our hips are with us right now. 
because we did all that, all that squat work. Is that gonna keep, okay. Whew. Ah. All right, one more on each side of that, and then we're gonna get into our homework. Oh, are you feeling it? Crampy, crampy, cramp, cramp. One more on each side. Then, while we're down here, we're gonna go ahead and go into our knee grabs, our 10 knee grabs for homework. Whew. Ugh. Making sure that we're grabbing those shins, getting those shoulders over those hips. Now next guys, you're either gonna do a T-spine push-up, so you're gonna come all the way down to the ground and then you're gonna rotate out all the way to the ground and rotate out, or you're gonna do an archer plank where you're just in this high arch, a uh, high plank, bringing that arm up along your body and back down. Arm along your body and back down. So five on each side, whichever one you're doing. Nice, Andrew. Good job, Jerry. Yeah, so Don, with those, I want you to drag your arm up along your body and look at your hand as it reaches out. So, I go like this, and then I come back down. It's a little bit more range of motion with that. Yeah, there it is. Beauteous, yeah. All right, guys, then for our last part of our homework, we have our deep squat with hamstring bias. So I wanna get low, I wanna get lower than normal. I'm gonna grab my toes, I'm gonna rotate out, I'm gonna rotate out. I'm gonna lengthen my legs, bringing my chin to chest and feeling that hamstring stretch at the top. Come back down, rotate. Rotate, chin to chest, five of those. Yeah. Nice job, guys. There we go. Awesome. Guys, that was so great. I'm so proud of you. That was a, that was a burner, right? You felt, everybody felt something, 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 something with that? Yeah? Something, something with that? It was really, really good. So bringing it back around to the story of the day, talking about them donkeys, those trolls, that just try to come after us on the Twitter sphere or the Facebooks. It feels like Instagram is a little bit kinder and gentler. It just doesn't feel like there's many buttholes on Instagram. I don't know. Is that a thing? Uh, okay, maybe, maybe. All right. Maybe because I just follow cats. <laughs> maybe that's why. It's just my, my Instagram is very safe. It's cats, your cat's an asshole. You're at, yeah, yeah. But um, anyway, guys, yeah, just, just think about where you want to put your emotional energy and what you want to be triggered by. And then maybe just sometimes just walk away, just walk away. Just think about where, where this, what the source is and then just leave it alone. But anyway, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. We're doing All right, guys, you got me tonight. You got me. What? Slow. Ah, sucker. Okay, but yeah, I know, but disclaimer, Josh still came up with this. So again, if you're unhappy, 
it's him. Okay, so I, I, I don't, I'm not taking the blame. So uh, let's see.